hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel i just feel like i need to apologize for the state of my hair not that i'm sure you guys care but it's looking a little it needs to be styled if i'm honest with you i've done that thing where i washed my hair maybe day before yesterday so it doesn't need another wash just yet i've got another day or two out of it but I didn't style it because I didn't really have plans or anything. I just kind of let it air dry and it just, you know, if you don't style it, it just has like nothing to it. It's just messy. <laughs> oh, we'll try and leave it and ignore it. But how are we guys? How is everybody doing? I hope you're all well. We are now obviously, as you can tell, back home from our little uk staycation and i had such an amazing time down in like wiltshire and the cotswolds that i definitely feel like i want to do more uk getaways with tom and barney it's just so wholesome and we did have the best weather or like really nice weather so i feel like we got lucky with that but yeah it's kind of given me a bit of a motivation a bit of a excited feeling for spring and summer and for I don't know, I just had this new sense of creative excitement, especially as a creator, as my job. I feel like it's quite important to have those breaks to kind of sometimes just remember what it is that you love and just get that excited feeling back. So literally staying in Dalesford especially, the interiors and everything, I was just in heaven and it just made me really want to think about our house our garden I'm going to share with you the garden updates that we've got and I just got home and I was just busy on Pinterest just pinning loads of images especially for the garden and for like the inspo that I want for for doing that up I have some samples arriving as well actually today from Cornstone and there's another place Doga stone I think it's called that I've ordered some little like samples of paving for outside that I need to buy at some point within the next few days so hopefully they will all arrive by today and tomorrow so that I can make a decision I'm thinking like a tumbled travertine or limestone type flooring out there like a real nice sand color and it will be sort of the outdoor kitchen area that will be paved with a bit of an L shape where we're going to have some outdoor furniture on there in the sun. And then surrounding that, we're going to have like an, a similar colour toned gravel, which we can landscape with the big trees. We can maybe do some like brick kind of shapers around the trees, get some like big plant pots, maybe do some more antique shopping to get some huge big like urns to put, pop some olive trees in. All of that is still to come, but I will show you the progress at some point today of where we are at with the garden and what's been happening whilst we were away for a few days. Um, but I'm just sat in my bedroom for now and I thought, when I was editing back those videos, I thought I didn't even show you the bits that I got from the Neptune outlet in Swindon, the huge like HQ that I visited if you saw in that vlog. So I did actually pick up a couple of bits and I never actually showed you in the vlog. So I thought I would share them with you now. And then also I came home to some PR parcels that I haven't opened yet. So I thought we could get into those too. So first things first from Neptune, they had in store their new stories, uh, like little brochure magazine type things, which I always love a little flick through with a coffee. So I will do that this afternoon. This is their new colour that I'm obsessed with, the Orkney White. Unfortunately, they only had the Potter's Pink bags in because I do have one of the, I can see it over there, the Orkney White bags, and it's honestly just the dreamiest colour. Um, but yeah, that's it. Nice creamy white. But anyway, I will have a flick through this brochure later. And then what did I get? So I just got a few bits. Firstly, this, which again, for outdoor dining, I thought would be perfect. And again, that kind of Cotswolds feeling, just the way that they had when we stayed at Dalesford, the cutlery just out in a basket, I thought was so simple, but so nice. And honestly, their cutlery as well, I was tempted to get some. May still be tempted to get some, because we will need to stock up on some extras for our kind of outdoor kitchen. But I thought this would be a really handy kind of caddy to take the cutlery over for when we are dining outside in the summer months, to take over the cutlery, napkins, whatever we need in here 
to the kind of outdoor dining space. So these, uh, this was reduced, it's the Ashcroft Glass Carrier it's called, but obviously like I said, cutlery I think would be ideal for this. Reduced from 41 pounds down to 35, so not a huge saving. And then I also got one of these pots that they had on the entrance. It's kind of like a rustic, they had a couple of different colors. I went for the most kind of neutral color of them all. They had this one, they had like a darker gray one. I can't remember what else they had, but anyway, this one was only 14 pounds. It's called the Time Pot. This is the large size. They did have some smaller ones as well. Um, yeah, nice stone pot, which I don't know if you could use for planting because it's not got a drainage hole, but I would use this purely for styling, aesthetics, some open shelving in the outdoor kitchen. I think this would be lovely. We are pretty close to deciding whether or not it's gonna have a roof. So I think we will go for a roof and then the L shape, which will get some sun. Yeah, I, we're, not, we're undecided. I'm kind of leaving the majority of the decision making for the outdoor kitchen to Tom because that is gonna be his element. He wants a projector on the wall for the football. <laughs> Apart from that, everything else I'm gonna make look gorgeous. Anyway, then I also saw these stems. They have loads of stems at Neptune and I just fell in love with these as soon as I saw them and they were really affordable. So they are the moss stems. So it's a really beautiful moss as you can tell with that nice kind of earthy moss colour, um, like nice green undertones, greeny brown that I feel would work perfectly in our house. Now I picked up they're quite full as well. I feel like you can manipulate. These are only two stems, but look how full that is. You can manipulate these into quite a widespread, sort of foraged looking display, which, yeah, I'm really excited to have a play around with. Or you could use them to fill out other kind of bouquets. But how much did I pay for these? Let's have a quick look at the receipt. £16 they were. Not bad at all if you know neptune prices they can get pretty steep with their stems so anyway that was everything that i got from neptune i did open this one before i left but i have yet to have a proper play around with it but it's from giorgio armani i should have probably taken it with me actually and they sent me very kindly one of their introducing luminous silk sunlit creamy bronzing powder sounds somewhat similar to the creamy kind of bronzing well, it's not really a powder, it's a bit more of a cream product from Chanel, the Universal Soleil, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, it's quite big size as well, this one. This says the shade 110. I don't know if they've got more shades or not, but a huge bronzing pan. Wow, that's a really nice deep colour. There is definitely shimmer in it though, so it's definitely more of a, I'd say, summery. It doesn't look very creamy. Hold on, let me get a brush and try it out feeling a little pale at the moment. I put on some of the bronzing drops in my moisturizer this morning, but it's yet to properly take effect, if you know what I mean. Um, just using a Real Techniques brush. Oh wow, it's quite pigmented. <laughs> I feel like I look paler on camera than I do in real life. But yeah, that's a lovely shade. Bronze me up. Lovely. Yeah, it's definitely, I would say, mm, a powder. <laughs> Show you in the actual light a bit better. Nice. I'm a fan of that, but as a powder, not a, not a cream. I've also got a package from this company called Luna Charles. I think they reached out maybe on instagram i can't remember but they did say that they were going to be sending me something so thank you to the team there so firstly they have sent me these set of juno i think they're called juno clip as it kind of suggests with the name as well luna charles it's very they've got lots of kind of astrology pieces star sign type um items and these beautiful clips which obviously you can use to clip back like the sides or whatever Probably more likely to have something on this side with that being my parting and then they've got this big sort of crescent one as well really really pretty you could do some nice hairstyles with that and then they also sent me a little jewelry box with this set it 
it's like a matching I think you, you can buy these as separates but they are these gemstone necklace and earrings and they have all the different birthstones this is the birthstone for November which is my dog's birth month Barney I like the November one purely because it's fairly neutral it's kind of like a subtle gold color and mine is January so it's like garnet bright red and Tom's is what's Tom's is it blue maybe March I can't remember but I know that April I think it's April and November are really nice kind of neutral birthstones so I just use the excuse that you know my dog was born in November to get a really nice uh birthstone especially when it comes to wearing things like on jewelry items and then I also got sent this from, well, this is from KGA, which is a, uh, a fragrance kind of PR company. And they have a very kindly sent over the, is it Tocca Lucia? Lucia, meaning light in Latin. Lucia is inspired by the Italian art of slow living, la dolce far niente. Top notes of Italian lemon, hearts of fig, base of vetiver, available from Look Fantastic gorgeous packaging as well should we give this a little sniff test i do love finding a new fragrance i quite like to associate it with say like a trip or a memory so this is what the bottle looks like wow it's waiting is that 100 mils yeah oh wow that is quite strong actually that zesty kind of lemon scent is the first thing that you will hit with so if you like citrusy scents this one's really nice it's sort of feminine but it's not too it's not f too floral because you guys know i can be particular about my florals it does go it feels quite strong wow <laughs> it's definitely one of those scents that you're going to pop on and someone's going to go later on in the day and say who's got the nice perfume on last but not least i got sent this a beautiful box from Neon. Neon was so generous and they don't tell me when they're sending anything so it's always a really nice surprise or well, very rarely they tell me anyway. Um, this one I had no idea was coming and let's open it up see what's inside. Feel, oh no, find your feel good. Five steps for, to feeling good. Oh so they've got five different products here to like a step by step stage of feeling good. And here we have some more crystals. We've got these clear quartz bracelets which just says feel good and some more clear quartz on the back of that bracelet and then we've got these little smiley socks from glassworks and then these feel good journal cards and then we've got this oh i've wanted to try this the sprinkle dirty they sell like mushroom extract mushroom based products which is meant to help with well have all sorts of benefits including like this one, the energy mushroom. Mix a teaspoon with hot or cold water. Add milk for a latte or simply add to your coffee smoothie or any drink. Mini candle. I actually have this one burning downstairs currently. This is their feel good candle. And this is, yeah, feel good vibes. Mandarin, ylang ylang and jasmine. Two other products. The super shower power body cleanser. Oh, wow. I feel like I went cross-eyed then if I did in the video. Oh, yeah, that is lovely. Spearmint, rosemary, and eucalyptus for 24 hour hydration. And then this one is the Neom Energy Burst, a multi mineral body milk. Again, is spearmint, rosemary, and eucalyptus. Massage over your entire body and breathe in the energizing aroma used daily. Let's give this a little whirl. I feel like my hands are looking pretty dry at the minute. A body milk as well. It sounds lovely. Oh, yeah, it's really light. Wow. Because I don't know about you, but I don't like a thick, sticky, heavy moisturiser. I really don't. Oh, okay, I understand what they mean by this. Wow, that's like rinsing your mouth out with mouthwash. <laughs> as well as eating chewing gum, as well as cleaning your teeth. With that amount of mintiness, it goes right into your nostrils. It's like when you sit, smell, you know, like if you've got a cold and you have essential oils. And it's the only thing that clears the passageways. I feel like that would do the trick as well. Maybe we can do one of these together. I'm assuming they're like prompt cards. If you can buy these, I'll um, leave them linked for you. Because I love, I love stuff like this. Little stationery bits like this. I love 
feel like journaling but aren't sure where to start. There's 36 cards in three distinct categories, gratitude, reflections, and goal and dreams. Simply pick a part, part? <laughs> simply pick a card from any category and get started, happy journaling. So you've got the gratitude ones in white, and then you've got the reflection in like a purpley color, and then lastly, the goals and dreams. So let's do, let's do a gratitude. I'm just gonna pick this one from the middle. Write about, so we all need to do this pen and papers at the ready guys. Write about a special person who you feel grateful for. How have they positively impacted your life? And if you don't have pen and paper, let me know in the comments about a special person who you feel grateful for. And then there's a little affirmation at the bottom that just says, I am fortunate to be surrounded by people who love and care about me. How lovely. And if you feel like you don't have people that care and love about you, I certainly do. Each and every one of you that watch my videos, you're the people that I feel grateful for every single day. So anyway, that is my little morning gratitude done for the day. I'm going to share with you now some garden updates. Let's take you outside. Hello, Mister. Should we go look in the garden? Shall we go and look in the garden? Come on then. These messy towels, and this is by the back door because somebody last night on their evening walk rolled in fox poo, didn't they? <laughs> didn't they? <laughs> was that you, mister? Yes, it was. It was you. Honestly, this is our saviour. The stinky booch that likes to roll in fox poo. Yes, you did. Anyway. <laughs> the builder's outside just doing some, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's sawing some, or cutting some fence panels to to fit so it's a little bit noisy out there oh and now he, barney's got his ball so what so whilst okay all right we're gonna go out in a minute we're gonna go out in a minute but whilst it's just like spat it out at me saying please take me out Anyway, just before I take him out, I, um, yeah, I'll show you the garden in a sec because it's a bit noisy out there at the minute, but I've got these that have arrived from Cornstone, these samples for, or the first samples that I've ordered for possible paving stones. I'm actually thinking the other one that I found from a brand called, I think it's Doga Stone, I think they, from online anyway, they look to be the favourite. But I thought I can't just go with something online without at least ordering a few samples. And Cornstone seem to have so many beautiful, um, beautiful pavings, stone, sort of like natural materials. Branding and everything is beautiful. So I thought I would order these. They were a little more than the ones that we've seen on the other website so that's another thing that's kind of making me think maybe the other ones but if the other ones arrive and I don't like them then at least corn hopefully we'll have a good selection so there were three that I wanted to select from corner samples but only two were available as samples it's their website and branding they've got a lot of like kitchen flooring Definitely not even a regret because I always wanted to do this kind of a flooring inside this space. Oh, they seem to, yeah, they seem to be predominantly in the south. But yeah, I was thinking, oh, but I would, oh, 10% discount. Right, let me just take all of you for one minute and we can go for a walk in a minute. But the flooring in here, because the Flooring that we've gone for, as nice as it is, it does scratch. And I know you can put protectors on the bottom of furniture, but they just seem to keep coming off. So something like this in the kitchen area, I think would have been lovely, but you know, that's... There's lessons learned within a renovation project, and that for me is one of them. Go with my gut, and that was what was my gut was telling me, but Tom was insistent on having the same flooring throughout, and I was like, well, I don't mind that. Ooh, okay, these look lovely. 
This is, hold on, let me just get them out. Okay, nice and thick and chunky. <gasps> How on earth are you meant to pick from these? Seriously. How are you meant to pick between these? They're both so beautiful. On camera, this one looks slightly lighter. This was the Dijon Blend Limestone. And that one's just Dijon Limestone. So what's the difference? This one is finished tumbled, so is the other one. Internal and external. Dijon Blend Limest Tumbled Limestone is the sister to our Dijon Tumbled Premium Selection. With Blend, you can expect greater tonal variation, more minerals and calcite veining, as well as surface pits and voids, which I like. I like the surface pits and voids. Sample can only be used as a guide. And having said that, if anything, this one looks like it's got more pits and voids on the sample. I mean, both are lovely. Both are basically the same, aren't they? I probably would prefer to go with the blend, like I said, if this one's the blend. If they're saying you just slightly get more pitting and voiding. And I think I would get them in sizes like this, 600 by 900, so obviously this on a larger scale, and then alternate them and like that, like stagger them. Or I think this one might have been 600 by 600. I'm not sure. But I think staggering them will look nice. So that will hopefully be something like that will be for the flooring. It's a bit chalky. For um, the outside paved area, kitchen, garden and everything. I love them so much. I can't wait to show them to Tom and see what he thinks. But waiting on that other one, which I think will be the favourite. But who knows? We'll see when we get here, when it gets here. But at least I know now. That if I don't like that one, I love both of those. And one thing as well to note, which I have mentioned before, like with the samples that I got for this worktop island and everything, these samples that you can get, you can obviously repurpose and reuse these as little candle plates, coasters, mar I mean, that one's a bit thick for a coaster, but little marble candle dishes, trays. You could even pop on this one because of the shape of it. You know, like the White Company hand soap and moisturizer. And let's face it, these are free. You don't have to pay for shipping or anything. Don't know if that's naughty sharing that information, but do with that information what you will. Tom's just back, he's just said it's looking very new buildy out there, which I totally agree with in terms of the fencing. We can one day, I'm not saying initially, but we could one day paint them, couldn't we? No, it's I just a, I mean, it's just, just a big barren, job to, it? yeah, of course it's barren, but for now, Oh, there's this collar. I wondered where that was. I forgot I put it out there to dry. If it is a bit breezy, I apologise, but essentially this is the update. We've had the fence panels added in pretty much around the entire perimeter. This area is going to be the kind of graveled paved area where I was getting the samples from. And then obviously we've had the wall built, which will have a couple of steps down into the grassed area. And it's this grassed area that is looking pretty vast. <laughs> so I definitely said from the start we need to do some kind of landscaping, planters. He's doing, he's doing plants along the back. Planters along the back. But then also that corner goes up quite a lot when you do something different. Up here. Well even a lot like sitting area, that'd be nice. No, no one will sit over there. It's in the shade. If you're gonna sit you're gonna sit up here. No one's gonna sit on the grass area. I'm thinking, well, that all of that's in the shade as well. Same around the base of that magnolia. I'm thinking some kind of bricked surround with a bit of gravel in the middle. We could get some nice solar lights, yeah, little fairy lights. Oh yeah, we're actually having lighting on every other post, I think, like little down lights, which will light up the whole garden really nice. Um, and then maybe even some targeted lights up here where we're gonna have olive trees. Plan not planted in potted either side of the stairs. Obviously, this is going to get rendered as well. Same on this side, but yeah, yeah that is the update. Really you are yeah. okay. Me, oh, are you going to do a proper walk tomorrow? Because yeah. I might, I, I was hoping to film tomorrow, so that'll help me out quite nicely actually. Because this vlog is not long enough to end here, so yeah, I will pick up the camera again tomorrow. But that's our garden updates now and I'm not quite sure what this is doing but 
Well, <laughs> it looks like a, I look like Mulan, you know, when she's got like a chopstick hanging out of her bun. Pardon? Have I had any Amazon parcels? Don't think you've had an Amazon parcel, no. Huey. I have though, but I'm going to save them for my next no, video. No, you say your name on them. You say your no, name. No, I have and opened them. And I'm saving them for now. <laughs> A bit of a, an Amazon haul in my next Delivered, vlog. delivered, delivered, delivered. Okay, but... Handed to resident. Show me the photo. Not me. That was yesterday. Yeah. And he, where were they from yesterday? No. There's one big box, but that's a mirror. So unless they'd put it in with the mirror, which I doubt they would have, Should but they, they might do. Yeah, we can do. Good morning, everybody. I'm just sat down to put on a bit of makeup, and I thought this morning, as you can tell by the few clips, I'd do a kind of bit of a morning routine um, this morning. Tom has taken Barney on a hike. He got up at 4 a.m. Him and his friends, they went and did mam tour, and yeah, so feeling very grateful this morning that I've had a bit of a slower morning being able to kind of get ready at my own pace i've not had to like rush out the door and take the dog out but having said that it's such a beautiful day today the sun is shining i'm actually quite jealous that i wasn't there i wouldn't have been able to keep up with those boys but i definitely want to maybe do it with myself and tom one day and just get up and just see the sunrise so anyway, this morning I'm getting ready. I thought I would show you what I'm using. So I have a brand new BB cream that I picked up recently from Clarins. This is in the shade 00. This has built-in SPF 25 in it, but I have already done my skincare this morning, including popping on my SPF 50. And I'm pretty sure you don't add the two together and I've got SPF 75 on. I think it's just the highest number so it's still factor 50 that i've got on um but i'm also using the lasting perfection concealer this is a this is one called hydrating it's the one with the blue lid if i'm honest with you i don't know if i notice a huge difference between this one and the normal one it's as good as though so if it's got extra hydration in it then if i can buy the one with the extra hydration in i probably will always just go for that one anyway and i've also had a bit of a reaction across my forehead some kind of allergy i feel i'm just gonna use a fluffy brush which definitely needs a wash so that could be the reason but i can get quite 
sensitive skin in terms of you know allergies flare up and I know I've seen a lot of people mentioning that hay fever season is kind of here and I know Tom's been sniffing a lot lately he gets hay fever and I'm thinking is that maybe what it is or have I used something that maybe just hasn't agreed with my skin I'm not sure but it it was actually a bit itchy so it's almost more rash like but it's definitely died down a lot now so anyway hence the extra concealer <laughs> on my forehead there we go I'm only doing kind of light makeup today um because well I want to kind of maybe at some point do a bit of a workout even if it's like get a quick walk in by quick walk I mean quick walk or a jog I'm not sure I did go for a run a couple of days ago so I feel like I feel okay I feel like I could go for a run again today but we will see um but I thought I'd get into some active kind of gear to help spur me on even if it's just a bit of yoga some kind of stretching and movement I want to do today this is a white fox top and underneath I just have a Lulu Align tank top and the Lulu Lemon Align leggings. That is my little outfit. And yeah, hence why I'm going kind of minimal on the makeup today. I was gonna wash my hair this morning, but I have an event on tomorrow that I'm gonna go to. So I thought I might be better washing it either first thing tomorrow morning or even tonight, just so it's a bit fresher for that event. Uh, let's use, let's use, what's this? Yeah, I've not broken into this yet. Lux Cheek and Highlight Palette from Bobbi Brown. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go in with this today for all three, for bronze, blush, and highlight, and see what we think. Oh, fresh new palette. Nothing quite like it, is there? I'm just using a Real Techniques bronzing brush. Oh yeah, that's quite nice and light, so I feel like I can go a bit heavier. You know, sometimes with a new bronzer, you don't know <laughs> how much product it's gonna pick up on the brush. It's definitely got a, it, it's matte, but it kind of adds a bit of a natural, more natural, sheen to the face instantly this palette looks more messy now which upsets me but oh well <laughs> it's because i'm going with such a fluffy brush for my bronzer i also just like to take that kind of over the crease of my eyes and um the bridge of my nose a bit under my chin as well okay and then we're going to go with the nice kind of rose pink color blush yeah definitely doesn't uh, pick up the product super easily so I feel like you can be a bit more heavy-handed with it oh no it did yeah nice I always think it's better to add rather than to pick up too much product straight away and then you can't really take it away really pretty kind of rose coloured blush that one really nice i'm going to use this kind of fluffier brush for the highlight and see how that looks when i'm used to uh the liquid highlighter like an iconic london one you forget how normal highlight just is not as strong like that just I feel like it would be a pretty eyeshadow shade actually I'm just going to brush that across my lids as well I think I would prefer that highlight with um sort of setting the iconic London illuminating one so I'm just going to add a couple more drops to take that onto the brow bone and bridge of the nose as well and cupid's bow oh there's quite a lot on there this is the shade and diffuse eye brush from bare minerals that i'm just going to use to kind of work that in see how much more pigmented like a liquid highlight is like that versus a powder one so yeah i think i would prefer to use this as more of a set on top of that liquid product much nicer for lips i'm going to go in with what's left of this pencil from mac which is well
And because the sun's out, I'm feeling glossy, hydrated look. So I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown. This is their crushed oil infused gloss in the shade Bare Sparkle. Really, really pretty kind of corally based sparkle that I'm just going to add to my lips. Just a really nice natural kind of dewy glowy look and then a flick of mascara and as we've gone quite summery and bronzed today i'm going to go in with a brown mascara which is the Too Faced better than sex mascara in chocolate is it called i'm not sure but it's, it's the brown one always the precise my brow pencil and i've also been enjoying i think it's a new product from benefit but i'll just show it to you in a second once i've done kind of like the majority of my brow with this yeah they have a new product it's slightly smaller and it's called the precisely my brow detailer so it's even smaller if i show you in comparison can you see this one is super super fine in comparison i mean this is good but this is really really fine so it does mean that you can get a really precise brow stroke join it all together and then i also use from benefit the uh fluff up brow wax just to kind of set that in place a little bit I would quite like actually to get my brows laminated again. There we have it. I'm just with a little bit of powder foundation. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish from Charlotte Tilbury. Just to powder over my T-zone and the areas that get a little bit more oily throughout the day. And that's me. Done. I want to head over to the Trafford Centre today. I've got um, a voucher for Abercrombie, so I'm going to go have a quick look in there. And whilst I'm there, I'm not sure if I might get a chance to maybe go to Costco, have a quick uh, stock up of the essentials. And I don't know whether to maybe leave my hair down today and just pop some dry shampoo in or slick it back. It's looking okay. It just, it just feels a bit like it needs a wash what time is it it is nearly half eight i'm gonna have some breakfast first i think traffic center doesn't tend to open till about 10 ish anyway Hello, hello, hello. I am actually now back from the Trafford Centre. Sorry I didn't vlog. It ended up being quite busy. Um, I don't know if it just felt busy because... No, it felt busy inside as well. I was going to say because the car park that I usually park in was... Loads of the spaces are... Well, they're like sectioned off. You can't park in them for some kind of like roadworks or... Oops improvements that they're doing so yeah 
it was hard to find a space and then when I eventually did it was kind of like a run in run out situation I wasn't there for long um I went into went into H&M home first let me just pop my uh pop my things away I'm trying to get into the habit of doing things putting things away in the moment because I am don't judge me for this. <laughs> I'm sure there's someone out there that does this as well. I'm the sort of person that ends up taking out all the washing from the washing machine, popping it on the spare bed, ready to fold up and put away. Except I don't do that stage. I walk out <laughs> and ignore that it's in there. And I never did that before I had a spare bedroom. So maybe that's just saying that we all need to not have spare bedrooms. <laughs> Every room should serve a purpose because the spare room, it just ends up becoming a dumping ground. Yeah, I'm trying to get into the habit of putting things away in the moment if I can, like that. But yeah, I need to get on with putting that washing away later on this afternoon. But anyway, so I first popped into H&M Home. I also did a bit of gift shopping. I've got three friends, birthdays, and a baby type gift, new baby gift to give out this month. I am a Capricorn and I somehow draw Taurus energy into my life in terms of my friendships. I seem to just connect with the Taurus energy and yeah, it means that this time of the year I've got quite a few birthdays <laughs> to, to um, be buying gifts for. So yeah, any other Taurus out there? Let me know because me and you are besties. Anyway, so I went to H&M Home first and foremost and I spotted these. I wasn't sure in terms of the price. However, I loved them that much that I thought, get them, invest, enjoy. <laughs> just enjoy them. And you know, they're not extortionate. I just thought I could maybe somewhere find cheaper but then the quality might not be as good. Anyway, I'll show you what they are. They are placemats, but I have the kind of straw, white company, summery type placemats. Then I saw these material ones and I was drawn to them. They are in a beautiful kind of washed sage green, vintagey looking fabric and love the little scalloped details. Just a very pretty placemat. They were $12.99 for a pack of two. So that's where I thought they seemed quite steep but again it's this fabric the quality my favorite tablecloth i've got a couple of tablecloths and my favorite one is my h&m home linen one so anyway i thought with these we could do with some placemats that aren't the seagrass for summer but also for all year round and again outdoor dining these could be lovely we're so close to summer months where we will by that point have some kind of outdoor dining set up which i'm so excited for so i decided to pick up this is where the dilemma fell into place because i'm not just going to get two so i got two four six eight and then i figured if we host ten me and tom can have a different place matt it's fine and then i went to abercrombie i mentioned that i had a voucher for it there i had a 40 pound voucher and there was something in specific that i was keeping my eyes peeled for that i'd seen online and I found them. But I did also pick up a couple of other things as well. Um, it's these trousers. So I love the Sloan relaxed fit trouser, but that look quite smart. They have brought them out for summer in linen. They've got white linen or they've got this kind of beige natural linen shade, which is the one that I went for. I just feel like they're a bit more wearable than white. So I picked these up in a... 28 curve love range which means they cinch in a little bit more at the waist and allow a bit more space around the bum and thigh area for those girls like me who are a little bit more curvy around there so yeah really really happy i found these i would i'm sort of in between a 27 and 28 waist 28 i thought comfort summer spine and they look like so really nice need a bit of an iron that's the only thing with linen i will have to give them a steam each time I wear them. The other thing that I got, and something that I would definitely pair with them, is just a basic tee. I love the basic tees from Abercrombie. Baby tees are a bit more fitted and a little bit more cropped, but this one is in a large. So although it will still be slightly fitted, 
it's not too uh it's not like an oversized boxy fit that one and then they had these on the checkout at clearance reduced from 40 pounds down to 15. they're a bit out of season but definitely one you could burn all year round i mean it's not just a christmasy scent but forest pine is kind of christmasy isn't it <laughs> but it's natural green freshness smelling so oh it smells lovely it almost has a hint of i think anyway the abercrombie cologne so yeah me and a candle all over abercrombie mixed with forest pine pine birch and clove this one is in and it's just nice and simple on the front so i don't know whether to get this burning now or save it for christmas so yeah maybe that will go in my candle cupboard for now anyway and that is everything that I picked up from the Trafford Centre. So not too much else to report or do today. I am planning on getting some content for a couple of brand partnerships that I've got to do and uh, emails, admin type stuff. So yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything vlog worthy today, but I actually don't think there is. I am going to the event tomorrow though. So I'll pick up the camera again tomorrow for my next vlog and maybe leave this one here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me and being brought up to speed with things with the garden updates and yeah, what's going on with us, the house, the garden, everything. Just main focus is having it ready for some warmer weather to be able to enjoy a bit of outdoor living. And my goodness, I can't wait for the garden centre trips <laughs> because we have a lot of plants to get planting and things to start styling, definitely home sense trips as well with some more pots, antique shopping, all of that is to come, which is all the exciting stuff. So yeah, stay tuned for all of that. Have a lovely rest of your day, each and every one of you sending all of my love and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.